Hey guys, it's Angela. I just wanted to show you what you can expect to get when you purchase one of my patterns and kind of go over it and explain it to you. Um, first off, you'll get the cover page. And now this isn't all of my patterns. This is like the more recent ones. But this is the cover page and it'll have the name of your pattern and it will have the picture and down below it's going to have the size. This is what we're doing now and it's 55 by 55 and then you're going to have this page and this tells you how to calculate your yarn usage which I have a video on and this just kind of you know demonstrates it for you and reminds you of the calculations that you need to use and everything and then we just have the little page that tells you again the grid size and the author which is me and where you can find my website and things like that and then we have the page that shows you that it is copyright protected now what this means you can do as many projects as you like you can crochet this pattern a million times and you can sell what you have crocheted you know to a billion people I don't care you can make a gazillion dollars but the pattern itself you cannot sell it you cannot give it away you cannot do anything with the pattern once you buy it or once I give it to you it is for you to use only you can't ever give my pattern away and you cannot sell my pattern but what you make out of it you can do whatever you like so that explains that now you have a little um, picture here that shows you the pattern again it shows you the stitch count so that you can do those calculations and it shows you what colors that I've used now you can use any colors you want um, it has a link to my Facebook page. It has a link to my Craftsy where you can buy other um, patterns of mine. It tells you, you know, if the gauge matters or not. Um, in my patterns, it says RS and WS before the rows. This means right side and wrong side. That is all that that means. That's the right side of your pattern and the wrong side of your pattern. Now it also tells you how to use my written pattern for Tunisian. It tells you if you want to use it for C2C or you know what stitch. It tells you how to make it into a pillow. It just gives you some other information. Okay, then we get to the graph itself if you would like to use the graph. And that's what the graph looks like. Now this is a one page graph because it's so small. However, if your graph is larger, it may come on several pages. We have some graphs that may come on like 16 pages. I mean, it just depends on what size the graph is because, you know, you don't want a huge graph on one little page because you wouldn't be able to see those little squares. Okay, then this is what the written looks like. See here it says chain 56 for single crochet. And then it says RS, row 1, hot rows, SC, that stands for single crochet, 55. Okay, this is exactly how all of my patterns are written. It's extremely easy. Then WS, that means that when you flip your work over and you are working on row 2, that is the wrong side of your work. All that means is that if you have a pattern that has letters in it or something like that, when you're doing that side of your project, that's going to be the wrong side of your project. And that's, that's all that that means. And so it tells you exactly how to work every single row. Now, if you are doing single crochet at the end of each row, just remember that you have to chain one and then you turn your work. It does not say that in, in the pattern, but you remember that you have to do that. Chain one and turn your work. So I hope that this helps. This just shows this is just the rest of the pattern. 
and this is how all of them are written out and I just wanted to give you a heads up and show you that before we start working. Have a great day.